it's Ashton. And it is John. What's up, guys? We're back from the reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Knife vs. Handgun, a reality check by the channel UF Pro. Yes, go and subscribe. The link will be down below in the description. Very important to support the channels that you love. This was a suggestion for ROM Reality. Thank you so much for the support. You guys can also help support the channel. Click on that link down below in the description if you guys throw it out through Streamlabs. Again, let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Click the video's link, title, your email. And let's get to this video. Now... I don't know what this is gonna apply to because obviously you'd rather have a gun in most situations because the range a knife you know I guess we'll just have to see where this video goes let's get to it um, make sure to go and subscribe to the channel if you guys like it. links in the description it'd be quicker to pull out a knife, knife at close range yeah. But I do have to say, you don't kill somebody with a knife right away. Like, you'd have to stab them in such you a good can. spot where the gun... Tw, 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 that still doesn't kill them instantly. You could slice their entire neck open. You, and... you think they're going to be grabbing their gun when you stab them in the throat? Right here? Yeah, but that wasn't a stab. That was a slash because they went like this. A slash wouldn't go I too deep. I get that. I don't know. I'm this saying is a tough you one. could stab them right there. Yeah. At a melee range, though, yeah, there is a definitely a good fight. But the gun, I don't I know. I think it's just... more so, like, um, the speed of, like, getting the weapon ready or out yeah, or whatever. definitely. The backup definitely worked. He's dead already. Is he outside? Go check your car. Is it so? Is the light on out there above the garage? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, did it come on or is it still dim? It's been on. Like bright? Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, guys. Gotta check something. Zoe, she put her head on that. Oh, her well, she likes to kick the wall sometimes too when she's sleeping. No, it was a metal. You could hear it. It was like, sorry, but we don't need somebody. I don't know. Doing something bad. All right, let's get back to the video. So far, yeah, the knife's totally way quicker than a gun is, just because the spy hold it in too. This range, definitely a gun, right? You guys see where this is what? Yeah. Wow. Oh wow, there's actually paintballs in it, so. Will it ever happen? What distance? 
Well, from that distance, we'll manage to do it, right? So it's like if you're at a far distance, you want to run. You know, if you're close, you want to run. Right. And that makes sense that you can also do that too. Although I gotta say, I really don't think you'd just die from the knife. You would still shoot the person if they stabbed you, depending on where. I mean, if well, they got yeah. like a really good stab on your neck and shut you down with like some but spinal that's cord the thing, damage. Though. But that's the thing though, if they stab you and you're, you're still dead. working on yeah, getting your gun, be. you're gonna be like, oh fuck, you know, and it's gonna delay your response rate. That's true, yeah. And then they have another chance to stab you again, and then what do you do from there? Right, right. No movement at 21 feet. I gotta say, I don't think that's 21 feet because if you just put this person laying sideways and doubled it, that looks like the length of the distance that they're apart, and that'd only be 12 feet. That's assuming these are six foot men. I don't know. That looks like 20, roughly 20 feet. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose right there. It looks a little long. I can't say this is really realistic either, though. I mean, it is in the sense that they're both ready for it. But if you'd like to say you're getting jumped from, by somebody with a knife and it's just some person in front of you and you don't know what they're up to, if they start dashing at you like that, your response time is going to be pretty slow, though. Because you don't know why. You're trying to evaluate what they're doing. They just dash at you. It'll probably be a couple seconds behind this, you know? Mm-hmm. This gun got stuck on his shirt. Oh, snap. Pretty cool though. Is that a real knife? But he still got caught twice, so it's like, what's the actual safe distance? That's a pretty cool video, because it really does make you think, you know, at what distance do you really need, like, to well, be safe with a gun? I mean, it's kind of common sense, though, if you think about it. I mean, if you're close to somebody and you have a right, gun, okay, it is yeah, it's scary, yeah. like, for for both parts because you don't want to shoot somebody and like you're not going to want me to shoot you but you could easily grab my hand if we're at a close distance and stop me or like tur right. turn the runner, gun around on me like you know there's a lot of different things that could happen but a knife you know I'd want a gun just like be, if it was like you think about that what if somebody came in the house and tried to kill us you know and, and you had a gun I feel like if they started running at you, obviously you wouldn't have time, but... I think the biggest part is... Uh, the way that he stopped the knife, though. Because he always just went like this. Realistically, you think you'd go like this if they're trying to slash your neck. And you see the guy running at you like this. As soon as he winds up, your left hand response would be to cover yourself, you know, instantly. Your whole head like that. He was blocking like his arm movement, not 
he, he could still stab him through his hand if he does this. He was blocking his arm movement so he couldn't stab him. Yeah, but if he... Like, try to... He wasn't like, stabbing, though. He was slashing. There's a big difference. The stab yeah, takes a lot like, more time. Going like this and blocking his arm gives him a little extra time to... Yeah, I suppose. But if it's a slash, when you go like this, it's not going to be that much damage. Why would you want your, your arm, arm cut open? Why wouldn't you just block his arm? Because in case you miss, when you go like this, you can't guarantee you're going to stop him. He's got momentum built up in that force. You've only got initial It gives him a few hold. seconds to... If yeah. I'm running at you, though, and I'm going like this, if you think you throw your arm up and it's going to slow me, though, when I got full momentum going at you, I'm going to push your arm right over because I'm using, like, three times your force. I mean, and then you I think it's... With the slash, so I'm saying that this would be a guarantee to be safe. You're still going to get hurt no matter what. I feel what, like I would do But it's not going to be vital. I don't know. I it's, would, first of all, I'd dock. And it's, I it's would, one of those things that you'd have I to would, do it. I guess these guys did it. You'd have to be but. in it. Yeah, exactly. And that was probably natural instinct. Right, yeah. And I feel like he did what was, what a normal person should do. For me, anyway, I feel like that's what I would do because I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my arms completely tore open, you know, with a gun, with a knife. So I'd probably try and block him, too. Uh, they should have tried it if you stepped towards the attacker when he was rushing at you. Because if, you, if he's going like this and you step towards him and you're right here, you know what I mean? Like, that's not a range when you kind of just angle around. I'm sure they them. have a lot more videos. I'm pretty they cool to see. might have different ones that you can watch. Guys, comment down below about what you think. We're trying to give our opinions here, but realistically, you would only know what happened if it if you were really did happen, you know? These guys did a pretty good example of it, but it's still not a real world um, scenario as if someone were to attack you. They're trying, but the thing is it, that there's going to be a lot of delayed reaction too when you just know someone, or you didn't know someone is trying to kill you. If you knew this person was there in front of you, you know, it's a way different story. Which they know, yeah. Yeah. Um, go and subscribe to the channel that is UF Pro. Important to support the channels that you love. You got something else on? Look like you're holding something in. No, I was reading that video. It says how to shoot like John Wick. <laughs> oh my god, never miss and then kill like a thousand people yourself. I was, I was gonna say, well, you can learn how to shoot like John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Just play Fortnite. Peace out, guys. Bye.